Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a second look at Haiku Pro. When I first came across Haiku Pro, it was when I was playing the game World of Haiku, which at the time was a $40 low-tier Linux trainer that purported to be an educational game that teaches real-world cybersecurity skills. And at the end of that game, you are invited to join and subscribe to Haiku Pro. When I took a first look at this, I wasn't really able to look at what they're offering here because they didn't actually have enrollment open at the time. Now they do, um, and I did take a look at their, their site. I noticed that some things changed. Uh, for example, well, let's see, did they add any? They, they claim to have offensive, defensive, and forensic classes or courses or whatever. I can still see that their offerings here for the range are only offensive still for now. We still have the level up in our community thing, which is by no means proprietary. Uh, they still have the LinkedIn Connect, so they still have enough confidence in their product that they think that cybersecurity hires are going to look at people who have completed World of Haiku and Haiku Pro ranges and say, that's the guy I want which is a lot of confidence, given what I saw before. They're still offering the World of Haiku. Oh, they adjusted their dots. They're actually connecting them now. <laughs> before, it was just kind of there. All right, so World of Haiku is the game. Still says, first of its kind RPG game that teaches you real-world cybersecurity skills. It is not an RPG. It does not teach real-world skills, but okay. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Then there's the Haiku Pro an open-world series of cloud-based networks where trainees can practice their skills on real computer networks, which feeds into the Job Connect so that you, as a Haiku Pro subscriber, can connect to actual cybersecurity hires or actual cybersecurity positions. I did see when I looked at this site briefly yesterday that they do have a new part of their uh, website that explains that. We'll get to that in just a moment. And they still have the Haiku Skills Resume Generator. Let's see. Well, um, yep, yeah, that's still wrong. Hack your way to success. That's still wrong. They still have the quote here from Lisa Easterly. I can only assume uh, that she is unaware that this quote is on their site because otherwise I assume she would have asked for them to pull it. Um, what's this uh, job connect? I swear did I see this yesterday? There was a list of positions. Oh, that's right. It must be after you sign in. Okay. So what I did yesterday is I did sign up, but I'm going to sign up for a new account today because I don't want them to know. <laughs> Not that it's a secret or anything. Um, but they have three tiers. They have the uh, free training, uh, which allows you to view all ranges. One range play session per day. Read reviews. Global leaderboard. Global? Sorry, it's early in the morning. Global leaderboard ranking, personalized dashboard, skills matrix, and stats. Now, uh, before we move on here, let's talk about what you're actually getting for free here, okay? Now, there's lots of other competitors to Haiku Pro, at least from... I, I have not done any of their ranges. I haven't even logged in once yet. I did sign up for an account, but I didn't log in. Um, I verified my email, and that was as far as I got, because I wanted to do all of the rest of this. Oh my god, I just noticed that the fucking cartoon mouse. Greetings, Grid Runner, is here. I swear to god, this, this has to be for little kids. You're using a cartoon anime pseudo Saturday morning cartoon-esque mouse to sell your product. Are you really telling me that that's going to be for any age even approaching an adult? Is anyone who could even be considered an adult going to look at that and say to themselves, boy, I love that. I love that fucking thing. I want that thing on a mug and a t-shirt and a hoodie. I don't think so. I'm sorry. It's a pet peeve of mine. I'm not a fan of the cutesy corporate mascot thing. I've never have been. I don't understand. Not that I'm a serious adult, a serious adult opinions or anything like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm as big a fan of, of uh, animated classics as anybody. I just don't think that it's appropriate for selling a serious product. If it's not marketed to children, don't use cartoons to sell it. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> All right, let's look at what you're actually getting here for free. So you get 
the global leaderboard ranking, but you only get one range play session per day. And last time we looked at their patent, at their scoring system and such, and obviously the more you play, the more points you can earn. So essentially for free, you get to look at the global leaderboards, but there's absolutely no chance that you could possibly get up at the top because you're restricted to once per day. And even if you score perfectly on that, just the way averages work, as dictated, if you get 10 or with the basic three range sessions per day, the average of three, if you perform well on at least one or two of them, is going to be higher than even a perfect score on a single play. Um, you can view all the ranges. Um, I'm not sure what that means. You can see all the things you can do, I guess, but you can't actually do more than one a day. Uh, you get the you get to read reviews. You, you sign up and it gives you the privilege of reading reviews and personalized dashboard skills, matrix and stats. So you get to get you, uh, just a, a brief view, a little tiny window into the data that they're mining from you. That's what you get for free. But hey, it's free, right? So, you know, essentially what you're getting is you sign up for a free account. You get one range session per day. That's really what you get. Fair enough. It's free. Ten bucks a month. Ten American dollars a month. You get the privilege of doing all of the things you can do for free. Plus, you get to leave your own reviews. You get to earn and share achievements on LinkedIn. And you get access to their Job Connect service. For $10 a month. That $10 a month is about the same as you would get for essentially unlimited streaming of entire catalogs from various different streaming services. It's what you get for, let's see, what other social media crap is there that you can buy? Um, you get ad free YouTube for about that much, um, which, Hey, I think is worth it. I am a YouTube premium subscriber on my, on my main <laughs> user channel. Uh, I think it's worth it. Um, uh, but I watch a lot of YouTube. What else do you get? Uh, what is, uh, what is LinkedIn? LinkedIn, what is it? LinkedIn pro? Is that what it's called? Um, LinkedIn or is it LinkedIn premium? Is that still a thing? Yeah. LinkedIn premium. You get hired two times faster on average. You get in mail credits. Uh, one month for free. No, I'm not interested in doing that. Sharpen your skills. Uh, you get LinkedIn learning. So how much is this? Um, of course they don't tell me. Why the fuck would they tell me? You have to, you have to buy it before you can find out how much you're spending. Uh, turn views into see, see who's viewed your profile. Okay. So this is these, these two things. I don't, I don't know, but I can tell you, uh, LinkedIn learning. What once was Linda it was bought by Microsoft and became LinkedIn learning. And for 10 bucks a month, uh, I bet at least a couple of months worth of content out of that would be absolutely worth the 10 bucks a month. If it's probably about that, let's be honest here, streaming services are nickel and diming us 10 bucks a month here and there, but all you get with basic access with Haiku pro is you get to rate their products and ranges, which of course they would put that behind a paywall. They don't want just anybody who can sign up to actually leave an honest review they want people who are invested in the product who are paying for it now there's a this is pure bernaysian psychology here but once you invest in something you're far more likely to view it favorably than if you just tried it for free you get a more honest review if it's a free trial but once somebody makes an investment even just ten dollars even less than that like if they're if you're in for a penny you're in for a pound right? You're going to leave a more favorable review. So that's uh, a smart, smart play for them. I reckon to put the, the ability to leave reviews behind a paywall, um, the earning and sharing achievements on LinkedIn. I'm sorry. There is no world in which that's going to be valuable. There's, there's just isn't. And the job connect thing, the job connect thing. We'll get to that in a moment. All right. Now, what if you're a, what if you're a whale, what do you got them deep pockets and you really want to invest in your cybersecurity future. So you're going to pay 18 American dollars every month for premium service. What do you get? Uh, well, they have helpfully bolded um, what's different, but they haven't. Uh, so, all right, what do you get? 10 range play sessions per day. That's 
10 times the amount you get for free, three times the amount that you get for well, three and a third, three times the amount you get for 10 bucks a month. Uh, you can view all ranges, of course. We know that. You can leave reviews, of course. We can do that with basic access. Get the global leaderboard right up. Yep. And you get the personalized dashboard. Yep, we already got that. Earn and share achievements on LinkedIn. Well, we could already do that with basic access. So with bolding here, it makes it look like you're getting a lot more. But if you look, review, earn, and job connect are bolded also in the basic access. So you're not getting those with premium. You're getting them with basic. What do you get with premium? You get hot ranges, which load three times faster. So are we to assume then that they are implicitly saying that load times are going to be an issue if you're not premium? That's what it seems to say to me. Are the ranges slow to load unless you're paying for the premium? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Uh, we also get the Job Connect Plus, which has a career questionnaire, tailored job recommendations, and the Haiku Skills with a Z resume generator. Generating a resume, writing a resume is not difficult, everyone. It really isn't. There's templates out there that you can download and use to your heart's content and nobody can stop you. I'm empowering you. Just write a resume. Two pages. It's really not that hard. Okay? And if you do find it difficult, if you've never done it before, if you're, if you're just graduating, you're a student, maybe you're a high school student just getting into college, or you're just leaving college trying to get your first real job, let me tell you, there are plenty of people out there who will help you write your resume for free, okay? There are job services out there. If you're a student, your guidance counselor may be able to point you in the right direction. If you're a college student, there are career services on your campus. I guarantee it who would be more than happy to hook you up with somebody who knows about resumes who will help you to write them. That said, there are templates out there you can write for free. A resume generator. Uh, oh, which, by the way, um, they did fix that. I noticed yesterday uh, they had elements showing here for the resume generator, which was just absolutely hilarious because they were trying to do the little uh, superscript TM here and uh, they uh, screwed it up somehow and you could actually see the, the elements here for the, the trademark symbol. They fixed that. They fixed that. Polishing it up for release. So what do you get for 18 bucks a month? Really for essentially doubling the amount that you're paying them, uh, you get faster load times and you get this thing. That's what you get. So, you know, <sighs> let's take a look at this thing. I'm curious. Like I said, last time I tried to do this, they weren't accepting, uh, the, the enrollments weren't open. Uh, they are now. And I, like I said, I use stuff like this all the time. What I'm, what it seems like I'm looking at here is a try hack me or hack the box esque service. Um, one that it doesn't look like it's really worth it signing up for free because you only get one session per day, but, um, one in that vein where you basically, you get virtual machines that you can practice skills on. That is not a bad idea. It's just not a novel idea. It's one that's been done before and they're competing with essentially products that have been out there and have been proven and are offering a greater value essentially. So what they offer has to be worth the money. Nothing I'm seeing here is necessarily worth the money, but if the product is that good, well, then of course it will be. So I guess let's try it out. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log in. All right. Give me a moment. And we're back. Um, I will, uh, I will note here again, I have signed in. I verified my email. That's all I've done. And so this is my first First look at the actual product itself. Okay. So you log in. The first thing you get, you're greeted here with uh, welcome to Haiku Pro. Learn how to use our user interface with the getting started learning path. Yeah. I want to start that tutorial. Let's see what you got. Welcome getting started. Okay. I don't know. It jumped me down here and it blocked their own, blocked their own heads up display here, but that's fine. Welcome getting started. I, this is a beta as you can see up here in the upper right hand corner. So I'm not going to be too harsh on things like UI layout or misspellings or, or showing elements or something like that. This is a beta. I'm going to treat it like a beta. Uh, but that said, they're taking money from people right now. You can sign up for the monthly subscription right now. 
which means that even if they've got little hitches and tweaks and such that they have to do, uh, it sure as hell had better be worth the money. Toggle the module under the pending. Toggle the module under pending to access the tutorials. Okay. So uh, here's me. I got no points. I got no rank. I got nothing. Uh, no shooting. It's got the same UI flavor as World of Haiku, which uh, if you've watched those videos, you know I freaking hated. Oh God, I hated it so bad. Look, look at the UI here. I get that they're going for a futuristic cyberpunk or futuristic retro or something kind of aesthetic. God, this is fucking ugly. Uh, anyway, before we actually get into the thing, though, I'll show you the job connect thing because I saw this yesterday. So this is their upsell, right? This is the, in order to get job connect, you have to, you can't have a free account. You, you have to go at least up to a basic um, or preferably a premium. Um, but this gives you a little preview. This is their upsell, right? They say you can take your questionnaire, you can get your top skills and they'll match you with jobs. And they show you these sample jobs, uh, as a way of, uh, getting their, uh, their hook in your, in your, in your lip here, right? Let's see what they got. Cybersecurity detection engineer for Chase Bank must have sound knowledge on the cybersecurity concepts related to Infineon Treveo 2 controller, fully remote position, full time. Two to seven years of experience, $190,000 per year. Defensive and Wireshark. Security Engineer 2 for Uber. Experience in developing response flows for security incidents. Experience in developing a flow from the initial something to a security something. In San Francisco, full-time, two to seven years, $140,000 a year. Cloud, Web Security, AWS. Security engineer, insurance planning, Rakuten. We are seeking a strong cybersecurity engineer to drive continuous drive continuous improvement to our information using in Tokyo, Japan, full time, two to seven years, seventy six thousand dollars per year. Secure networks and endpoints. What else we got? Come on, show me the. Oh, well, look at that. They have three bars. There's Right, here's our kebab, um, but every page shows the same jobs. All were posted two days ago. Two days, two days, two days. Odd. Odd, isn't that? Hmm. What else is kind of fishy about this? Well, they all require two to seven years of experience. Two of them are paying in excess of six figures a year. Huh. Now, Far be it for little me to accuse anyone of any sort of impropriety, but I will say that if one were so inclined, with a critical eye, and of course an uncharitable interpretation, to look at these jobs, one might think that they're not real. Huh. Oh, that couldn't possibly be true. Come on. Let's, for you naysayers out there, and I know you're out there, I know you're out, you naysayers, you jackals. I know you're out there. And you're thinking to yourself that this is some huckster shit right here. You're thinking to yourself that Haiku Pro is a fly by night snake oil sales company that are promising the moon and under delivering, and they're going to cut and run, absconding with all of their subscriptions and probably a fair amount of investor cash as well. Come on. Come on. Do you really think someone would just go out on the internet and tell lies? I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. I'm going to prove you wrong right now. Cybersecurity detection engineer with Chase Bank. You hold on to your hats. You hold on to your hats. Look at that. Monster.com. Oh. Well, clearly Monster.com is out of the loop on this one. All right. Come on. All right. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Just, you know, worry, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, that's all. That's a monster. Okay. Um, uh, sorry. here we go. Ah, ah, here we go. All right. We got it. Okay. Oh, in Singapore. Well, I did say it was remote. Yeah, it's remote in Singapore. Uh, this is it for sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is it. This is, it. This is definitely legit. Let's see what it says here. Uh, oh, it's expired. 
Oh. Oh, never mind. Uh, it must be another mistake. It, it's got to be. Um, here we go. New York, New York. Glass door. Right. Glass door. Um, okay. Uh, oh, wait. Job postings expired. Oh. Okay. This is a fluke. This is a fluke, everybody. Okay. They wouldn't. This is. It's a simple mistake. I, I know it says it was posted two days ago, and I went on the internet, and it says that the job listing expired long ago, and it was posted back in July. Uh, okay. <laughs> It was, uh, okay, it's fine. <clears throat> we're, we're just going to... Okay, it's... Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, Bangalore, India. Wait, no, this is San Francisco. That, that's, a, that's a different posting. It's a different posting. Uh, Sunnyvale, right? That's that's probably pretty close to San Francisco. Oh, it's not available. Oh. Um. Okay. Um. Uber Careers. <laughs> Here we go. It's their own website. So... Um, uh, wait, this is, that's not it. No. Um, uh, okay. Gla well, a glass door, right? Uh, glass door. They got a, uh, threat detection engineer, but that's not what it says. Um, senior threat detection. Okay. No, no, that's not it either. Uh, um, oh shit. It, it's another mistake. It's another mistake. Okay. Okay. It's another mistake. Uh, security engineer, insurance planning. Rakuten. There we go. Okay, on LinkedIn. And they, they have a LinkedIn thing, so. Well, clearly. Clearly, unless there's some kind of mistake here, right? I mean, I don't, I don't speak Japanese, but I do speak English. This is LinkedIn, and this is a LinkedIn Job Connect, so I, I would assume that Haiku Pro is getting the job listings from LinkedIn. But this one also says it's no longer available. What the? Ladies and gentlemen, we, we clearly have some kind of a mystery on our hands. There's, there's obviously something going on here, but clearly no malfeasance or impropriety could possibly be implied. There's just no way. Let me just also... Let me just also just do, do a, quick, a quick look here. Here we go. LinkedIn job search. Let's see. Let's clear these recent searches. Um, let's look. United States. No, not, not just the United States. Come on. How about information security? Oh, my God. Just in the USA. We, what <laughs> really i've never used the linkedin job search it seems fairly fucking useless uh, okay but let's see what we get all right security officer it security analyst chicago illinois sure sure it security analyst one month ago okay entry level which these are not entry level positions it says two to seven years of experience right here that's not going to be two to seven years of experience with haiku pro they're going to be looking for two to seven years of industry experience on top of whatever degrees or certifications they're going to be looking for, of course, but an entry-level position. And this is Chicago, Illinois. It's a fairly large Midwest city, but it is still in the Midwest. So we can expect the A to be commiserate with that. And of course, it's LinkedIn, the recruiter's wet dream, so there's no fucking salary listed. Let's try this junior sock analyst, another entry-level position, also in Chicago. And, of course, recruiter's wet dream, no fucking salary listed. You tell me what you think you're worth, and I'll tell you that I'll give you a third of that. Security compliance analyst. Well, okay. No salary listed, of course. But I can tell you, entry-level security positions do not start at six figures, okay? They just don't. They're entry-level positions. And if you're walking into a position where the only cybersecurity experience on your resume is World of Haiku and Haiku Pro, I don't care what badges are on your LinkedIn profile, 
you're not going to be starting out at six figures. Okay. If you're in the Midwest, you're going to be looking at 40, maybe 50,000, maybe as high as 60 to 70,000 for the right position. If you have other commiserate skills, but they're leading you to believe here that you're going to be walking into a six figure position by playing haiku pro. And that's just simply not the case. All right. Enough about their job connect fucking cockamamie shit. Let's yeah. Start that tutorial again. Every time we come here, it's going to do that. So, all right, here's my dashboard. Mm -hmm. Get hired with the skills resume. Show off your experience. Let's, let's, oh, oh, you can't actually click. It's not, this is not really a, it's not really a thing. <laughs> All right. Pending. These are the tutorial levels. Getting started with Haiku Pro. No ranges. Award, awarded based on finishing the tutorials. Learn how to use Haiku Pro. I would love to. Settings tutorial. Customize your identity on Haiku Pro. Oh, well. Oh, I get to use this fucking avatars again. Oh, looking sharp. You have successfully updated your profile photo. Can I customize that? No, of course you can't. Why would you be able to do that? Country, Afghanistan. Um, let's see. How about Slavo Green? Save. You have successfully updated your country. Thank you. Integrations. World of Haiku. Badger. Let's see. I don't know if I still need to have it installed because I definitely don't. That's. Okay. Yeah, let's see your leaderboard. Let's see. Who's who's at the top of this shit heap? Ozymandias, of course. King of Kings. With... 14,400 points. Somebody's a pro subscriber. Stuns and Roses. Secret Hexer. Okay. I'm having a really hard time believing that these are actual people. <laughs> Let's just look at their names. Tron Demon. Yeah, I, again, never in a million years would I ever impugn the integrity or honor of any person. I'm not making any suggestions, allegations, or accusations of any kind. But if one were to look at this with a critical eye, with a, a sense of maybe, uh, maybe, maybe sardonic irony of sorts, one might be inclined to to think perhaps that these are not actual people and maybe they're just plants. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, is this the number of ranges they've done? Four or five? So this person's done four ranges and you got this kind of, oh, here we go. Ranges can, oh, rank. Where's number one? Oh, here we are. Uh, they do a weird punch out thing. So number one here is Saikumar7. Painfully yours. Okay. Complete. Whatever. Uh, yeah. It's doing the same thing the game did where... Uh, whatever. No! Go back! God! Alright. Eight ranges completed. 20,000 points. Three ranges. Three ranges. Almost 19,000. Almost 17,000, respectively. Number four. It's weird that they do a punch on here for these guys. Like, I get what they're going for here, but it's just weird because of this ribbon here in the middle for the discord server it makes it seem like a discrete part. So, uh, three ranges completed rank four. Where does this go down? Can I see myself? Where am I? System. Wait, there was somebody up here with zero ranges completed that had points. I know I saw it. Where'd you go? No, that was a three, not a zero. Uh, it goes down to 85. Okay. If you're all actually real people, um, good on you, I guess. I hope you're having fun, and I hope you're getting everything that you thought you could out of this. Oh, what? I gotta do it all over again? Because I didn't go on their fucking rails? Are you serious?
<sighs> Browse and learn about ranges. Ranges. The discover page is where you have a bird's eye view of stats and recommended ranges. Ranges. It keeps the tooltip up here. It jumps me around on the page. Ranges are cyber range challenges you can complete for points uh, in Haiku Pro. Learn more about the range. Okay. All right. How do you use Haiku Pro? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's level one, level one, level one. Offensive. Okay, they do have a forensic uh, uh, scenario here, they say. Although it's not mentioned on their page at all. Kitten Mittens Takedown. Meow. All right. What do I do with this? Uh, click learn more about the range. Okay. Uh, well, let's check out the kitten mittens takedown, huh? Learn about the content management system gone wrong. Reinstalling the ranges. ranges. Local police just completed a search warrant and obtained the hard drive of a suspected cat snaps distribution ringleader. However, upon initial review of the suspect system, no cat pictures were identified. The police department believes that the suspect has hidden or deleted evidence and have requested your help with the forensic analysis of the disk image they took. Analyze the disk image and recover the pictures of the felines to lock up the suspect for good. My guess, okay, so it's image analysis and file covering. My guess is that the range is going to include some tool that will do it automatically for us, like some kind of forensic suite. Ooh, reviews. Uh, okay, five star, four star. The second goal is missing the answer format. Other than that, it was straightforward. I have never used the required tool, so I'm learning something new. Yeah, see more. That's. See you again. Okay. Uh, complete. Well, we have to stay on the rails or we're not going to complete the tutorial, so we'll come back to this, I guess. Oh, yeah. Job connect. Yeah, for real. We were already here. These are the skills you have built in Haiku Pro. Get Taylor. Okay. Ooh, it's different. Um, now it's not locked. Okay. Uh, their this security and their salary went up. This is the same one we saw before post two days ago. Same everything else except the salary. Instead of being at seventy six thousand a year, is now at ninety eight thousand per year. Same job posting again. Oh. We have the same job posting three times in a row now. And this is just a picture. It's not actually interactive. <laughs> job search. Okay. Uh, well, uh, let's go. Sure. Oh, we can't actually do anything with any of these. This is all a picture. This is just an image. Okay. Well. Uh, oh, I see. We're in the tutorial mode. That's why. Uh huh. With premium, you can further reject. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Thanks for the demo. I. St it's not complete. It says zero or four. I did all of these. What the fuck? Again, it's beta willing to overlook UI issues and stuff like the weird thing where you have to do the tutorial in order in order for it to be considered complete. I can forgive that um, because I have no idea how they put it, got it all put together and everything. So it's fine. Um, I mean, cookies, obviously, but you know, what else? I don't know. But this is essentially a feature of the thing. You're supposed to be able to do missions. And it didn't work. Complete the below ranges. All learning paths. Uh, okay. All right, let's do a range. Let's do let's do that forensic range. If we can. Play range. Let's see what this is. Kitten Mittens Takedown. Once the range is loaded, your timer will start. Ranges feature a limited number of tools in Kali Linux and are not connected to the external internet, only the internal range network. Playing on Haiku Pro from inside a VM or while connected to a VPN will cause a significant lag <laughs> Excuse me. and slow down the Kali Linux box in the range. Copy To copy and paste from outside to inside the range and vice versa, open your clipboard by typing Control-Alt-Shift on Win Linux or Control-Alt-Command on Mac on your keyboard. Okay. 
All right, here we are, kitten mittens. All right. Um, so, okay, we have a standard VM running in a browser, learning objectives. That's our scenario. Log out. No, okay. Okay, I understand. One of the first steps in any data collection process is to confirm the data or image hasn't been tampered with. The suspect is running a Linux desktop and the system used an X4 file system. The image provided is of the entire disk, which contained a single partition labeled data, followed by some unallocated space. The SHA-256 sum of the disk and provided image were both calculated to be this. Verify the integrity of the image. What is the SHA-256 sum of the disk image provided? We have a very small virtual machine. It looks like Kali Linux, and it looks like a bog standard Kali deployment. Here's our image for analysis down here. Down here we have a connect to the world of Haiku for some reason. And then we have a notes section. Look at all this real estate that's taken up with all this shit. Look at all this. I have a tiny little screen here. I could have so much more if I it, look. God. But I also, so Kali Linux is free. This looks like a pretty standard deployment. So the OS itself doesn't cost them anything here. I know that they're going for like this futuristic retro cyberpunk stuff, but this is just so garbage. This layout is terrible. Look at all of this real estate that I could be using here. This isn't a particularly large monitor. This is just a pretty standard 16 by nine. I, I don't remember what resolution I'm at. But meanwhile, this VM here is running in potato resolution. Uh, is that to reconnect? Yeah, okay. And then this is, ugh. I feel like I'm playing this on a phone. <sighs> All right, whatever. I've never been a fan of the Autopsy Sleuth Kit deployment in Kali Linux. It's definitely, I use Autopsy all the time. Typically, I use it uh, for uh, uh, the standalone application on Windows. And this is version 2.4. Two, version 2.2.4. This is an old version of Sleuth Kit. Sleuth Kit's on for Linux, I think, 4.11 now. And I think on Windows, I think it's at 4. 19. So this is an old version of Sleuth. I think this version of Sleuth gets from like 2016 or something like that. So this is already an old version. Um, but And I'm also not a fan of the... The... Uh, okay. I'm also not a fan of the browser deployment of this. It's, I prefer the Windows standalone. Which... Autopsy, like I said, I use it all the time. It's the standalone version for Windows is about as faithful a recreation as one could possibly hope for a forensic suite, you know, outside of like FTK or NCase or something like that. But for an open source free solution, it's wonderful. I, I use it in class all the time. I've never been a fan of the browser deployment for reasons that you're going to see in just a moment. It's really, really clunky um, and uh, hard to navigate and stuff like that. Um, also, this VM is running like shit. It's not so bad. I mean, it's okay. It's a it's a VM in a browser, so I, I expect some amount of, um, some amount of of clunkiness here. So it's fine. We can overlook that. It is what it is. I mean, it's a shitty deployment of it. And look at this. I'm basically playing this on a fucking mobile phone. Um, but whatever. Add image, add image file. Um, oops. Um, and we're running as root. Doesn't Kali now have the Kali user? Is this an old version of Kali? Is that why? Um, I can't even remember how to check version uh settings accessibility cali tweaks no 
I think this is an old version of Cali. I can't remember how to check. Let me look it up quick. This doesn't seem like Cali 22, 3, or 2 even. Um, there we go. It's two, so it is a little bit out of date. So, but it's definitely twenty-two. This is the version where we should be running as Cali as the standard user, and then elevating to root. But uh, we're not for some reason. Also, I don't even have a stable shell. See, awesome! Can't even take advantage of these features. Uh. Okay, so there it is. That's a uh, root desktop image for analysis. <sighs> Doing everything the hard way. Okay, they said it's a full disk. Import method. We can do symlink. Uh, calculate the hash, verify the hash after importing. We don't want MD5, though. We want SHA-256, which I can do in the desktop version, but it doesn't seem like it's giving me an option. In the browser-supported version, the Linux version. So, okay. There's our MD5. That's not what we want, though. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, hash databases, image integrity. That's the MD5. Okay, but that's not what we want. Um, analyze. No, we'll get there. Um, Okay. Well, um, do I have OpenSSL? I do. Uh, so I can uh, echo in uh, our thing there, and then we can um, Sorry, hold on a sec. I got in many, too many tabs open. Many tabs open. SSL. Uh, digest. Uh, two fifty six. Uh, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, of course it's not a stable shell. God, fucking. Just like the world of Haiku, this is also a poor Linux simulator. You can't even get the fully featured fucking command line. Well, that ain't right. That's not at all like the one that they did here. Huh. That's not at all right. Okay. Um, okay. Make sure I'm doing this right. Um, does this... Hmm. 
Okay, there we go. That's strange, but okay. And there's our verification. Analyze the disk image and recover the list of pictures to be used as evidence in the case. So the flag will be found in one of these images. Okay, well, uh, Callie comes with um, Scalpel. It's a file carver, which means that we could simply run a utility and find what we're looking for. Um, but... Um, so we'll extract the unallocated space. Make sure we get this. Okay, good. Um, we'll save the strings. Let's go to file system. Uh, autopsy, the standalone for Windows, does um, intake scripts to replicate things like um, scalpel. Um, and such, but let's just do a quick survey. That's typically what I do first with um, disks when I first get them. So we got a doc file, we got a ping, fake tax return. This is another reason I hate the, the web deployment of Sleuth Kit. It's just, and running in a VM in a browser like this, it's just so freaking clunky. It's just terrible. All right, I, and I was going to do a survey here and do a walkthrough of the disk just to see what we had. Um, but, uh, God, this is just so, this is just so hard, um, to use. So, um, let's not do this exercise in futility here. Um, let's go back and autopsy should have a case. Where is it saved in Linux? Um, case management, adding a new host, hash databases, um, image path, disk, okay, e five values, host subdirectories. No, that's not what I'm looking for. General information. Files allows you to browse the image file as a file system. Okay, that we already saw. <clears throat> Let's see, where is this saved in Linux? Um, it wasn't under desktop. So it's being saved somewhere else. I'm going to have to look it up. I'm not sure. Autopsy case directory location. Uh, um, let's export this, save, um, open containing folder. Okay. That just went to downloads. Start a new case, um, case directory. It says it's under home. But that can't be. Yeah. So, okay. Um, and I'm not familiar enough with the directory you want to view. Expand directories. Okay, that's directories on the disk that we're calling Data Unit Metadata Image Details. Media User Data. Uh, let's go. Okay, let's close. Case Gallery. Details. Doesn't say. Okay.
Post one details. There we go. Bar lib autopsy kit and mittens host one. Now I forgot completely why I was doing this. Why did I need to know the case directory? Oh, that's right. I think I was looking for the unallocated space file that I extracted. Was it R lib autopsy kitten mittens? Of course. Why do I keep trying to do that? Uh host one. That's not it. That's not it. There it is. Finally, okay. Forensics. So let's get sweet. Uh, no, it's uh, forensic carving tools, scalpel. All right. So we're going to go with scalpel. We're going to go dash B. Uh, config file, we'll leave alone. Generate header footer database. Let's skip that. Print this help message and exit. Read names of disk. Oh, generate, update, carve, uh, blog map. Uh, we'll add a note. We don't need that. So put directory. Yeah, we'll set the output. Uh, and we'll just leave them right where they are, I guess. Don't organize carve files by type. Default is on. Okay, that's fine. Nope. Nope. All right. So This that what the fuck? <laughs> uh, stable shell, stable shell. Oh my god, so fucking gross. <laughs> okay. Assemble our command outside of the command line. All right. Um, config file. Choose a configuration file. Um, our default. Here uh, using the default, you'll have to uncomment some of the file types. Okay. Um, all right, I guess we'll have to do that then. All right. So I'll have to go back here. 
Um, And I think it's just scalpel. No. It's scalpel. Yeah, it's scalpel. Did I misspell it? Probably. There it is. Uh, what do we have in it? Um... Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, let's do Well, well, we know that it's going to be an image. So we'll do all image types. I'll leave it at that for now. Okay. Copy that. Paste it. And I misspelled it because, of course, why wouldn't I? Um, uh, in order to maintain, this is not allowed. Okay, fine. Output directory. Small O, right? If I remember correctly. Uh, yes. Um, files. As you can tell, it's been a while since I've used Scalpel on Linux here. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the... What the hell? It's not... I see. There we go. The um All right, 138 PNG files. Of course, I need. Of course, I don't get any kind of. I 
Everyone's errors. There's this is doing forensic work without fucking forensic tools. This is so goddamn annoying. Like, it's like working with one arm tied behind your back. I'm hoping that their offensive security ranges are worth playing because, uh, this is not. This is not a suitable forensic challenge. This is the absolute most broke dick way you can do this kind of thing. I don't have, I'm, I'm analyzing images without an image viewer, without image analysis software. I'm carving with scalpel. I'm using the web-based version of Sleuth Kit. There's nothing about this that is like at all like real forensic work. This is seriously, and it like you get by, like these are tools that are used in this process but you're doing it in like the worst possible hardest way making things so much more difficult for yourself than they need to be it's complete insanity all right that's a viable image but not the one we're looking for i decided to go with okay <laughs> we're using the native image viewer I, I think that the people who put this challenge together don't do forensics as their typical day job, uh, because they would understand why this is so much more difficult than it needs to be. But if they did do it correctly, then they'd have to pay for software and OS licenses, and God knows that cuts into the bottom line. You'd think charging people at minimum 10 bucks a month, uh, they'd be able to afford that kind of thing, or make that kind of investment initially to draw people in. But I don't think that they're really that concerned with developing an actual good course and actually teaching skills as much as they are at getting people to sign up. All right, let's work backwards here. And I, you know, I don't know what the what the hell here. Uh, no, don't close all the tabs. We definitely don't want that. Just screw it. <clears throat> screw it. Let them tabs pile up. Whatever. All right, Scalpel seems to have really screwed the pooch on these PNG extractions. Either that or Firefox simply is having an issue with displaying them. Let's get rid of this too. Let's get rid of this. And it would be wonderful to take a closer look at uh, one of these, but of course we don't have access to file analysis tools in the stock Linux, Kali Linux environment, because it's not a forensic operating system. It's a offensive security, penetration testing, and maybe cybersecurity uh, operating system. It's not for forensic work. It's not tailored to it. It's got forensic tools in it, um, but the, it's not a fully fledged suite or forensic endpoint. I mean, Kali can be a basis for a forensic uh, endpoint, absolutely, but it would be a heavily modified version, which they haven't done here. So we have no good final anal analysis tools. We have no good image analysis tools. We've got no good registry or uh, SRUM artifact analysis tools. We just have Scalpel and the Sleuth Kit Suite, which both, again, are good tools. I like them don't usually use them on linux but we can but this is the hardest possible way to do this it's making everything so i can't i can't even view thumbnails right um and uh the browser deployment the linux version of sleuth kit does not have even the image gallery that the standalone client does where i could import all of these images into the gallery and I could see them all and do my comparison. I wouldn't have to be opening over a hundred files manually and checking them. And I know why they're not working because I'd be able to take a closer look at them. I mean, we can do that obviously. Um, but again, in order to do that, it's the hardest possible way to do it. I'd have to go back to the command line and I'd have, you know, whatever, let's, let's do it, I guess. 
Uh, what happened to that other? What? There it is. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for not this. Well, whatever. This should, this should work, I guess. Where am I? Um, Four, five, six, seven, one. Uh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Shouldn't have I shouldn't have encoded it. Or I should have specified. Come back. I mean, I see the signature says PNG. That's where Scalpel got it from. Or did I hack? Or did I instruct Scalpel to rebuild the headers? I can't remember. I can't remember what the default behavior is. Okay, but we're not getting anywhere with this. We have yet to find one valid PNG image. Screw it, right? Screw it. Let's let the sucker deal with it. 138 files. Let's open them all. Or 100 and... What was it? can't remember. Let's throw it at the sucker and see what happens. Let's bog this baby down. Make it chug. I mean... Seems to be handling it fine, for the most part. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Close this. Yep. We killed her. Yep, terminate the application. Yeah, see, so, I mean, it's sluggish the, in the interface. Um, because it's running through a browser, but the machine itself on the back end seems to have plenty of, uh, plenty of resources dedicated to it. Although it did mention something about slowing down, like for the premium, you get three times the speed. My guess is they don't have a lot of subscribers yet. And so there's not a lot of congestion. And plus this is 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh shit. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I guess where I need to be. Um, wait, I have, an, I have an advising appointment with who? No, wait, what? That was, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So yes, I do have somewhere I have to be in about an hour. 
All right, good. Anyway, we don't have an hour anyway. We're at nine minutes left on this clock, and uh, we're not getting anywhere with this. So, um, all right. Well, none of these are working. I've tried most of them. So let's, okay, uh, let's go back here. Uh, let's go to file system, file analysis, and let's see what we got. Well, I think we were in documents. There's a, an MP3. Uh, oh, they said they weren't able to find it, so we would have to carve it. Which means that Scalpel should have found it. Did I, in my configuration over here, did I undo, I think, I thought JPEG was on the list. Yeah, right there. FFD8. Okay, FFD8 is the file signature here for, J, uh, for JPEG files. FFD9 is the end of file. Uh, I didn't do MPEGs or anything. Uh, it says it's an image, so I only did the image types. So... <laughs> I mean, I didn't get any JPEGs. Let's see. Chop. Yeah, see, the rest of these are fine. Or should be fine. If I had a proper image viewer, I might still be able to open them. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to... A couple of other ones here, but we'll go farther down. Uh, let's go to 24. No. Okay. Let's go to number one. Open with image viewer. See text logs for details. See if I had a proper image viewer, this might be doable. But I don't. All right. Um, and yeah, everything's running as root. Okay. Um, so I can rerun Scalpel um, with a, a more open config for all file types. I could do that. Um, I don't think it would be particularly helpful, but we could. At least open it up to, um, like files that could be embedding things, but these PNGs did not seem to work because we have no usable PNGs here. Um, let me see here. Let's go back to that audit. Did we hit? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. We did. We did seem to hit a limit here. Um. But but but. but. With PNG files. Um. Save. Close that. Come back here. Get rid of all that. Delete. Delete here here rerun all right let's try it now well first let's check the audit here yeah that looks a little bit better looks a little bit better let's go all the way to the bottom here with these larger files we found let's try these no still no Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know. Like I said, it's been a while since I've used, um, since I've used scalpel. Um, but we got rid of the files that were chopped due to the file limit. And they still don't open. So, without 
getting a file analysis tool or an image analysis tool to actually look at the uh, byte pairs. Uh, oh, hold on. Why are we out of order here? Weird. Um, oh, these ones were chopped. Well, I'm not sure why. But in any event. These ones wouldn't open either. Yeah, okay. So, they have several problems here. We did have a review over here that said, um, oh, wait, it's on the other page. There was a review that said that the um, second challenge uh, either, not, not that it wasn't completable, but that there was a problem with it. This might be what we're running into here as well. Um, it's possible. Um, let's see, file type, sort files by type, sort files into category, up extension, front end, all that. Okay. View sorted files. And it's the browser deployment version, which means that it's not quite working. I believe that support was dropped for Linux, uh, if I remember correctly. Extension mismatches. That Well, that might be interesting. Let's take a look at that here. Any ASCII, ASCII. Um, I don't see anything there. Pertinent, I could be wrong. Need image files, fake tax return, bank statement, default, default, default. I don't think, I don't think that these are what we're looking for, but let's try program. No, that's Tor browser stuff. Okay. I don't think we're going to make our timer. They've tied both hands behind her back. And uh, had to stumble around in the dark. So, I don't know, 45 minutes is quite enough time here. Um, browser, browser. Browser. Chrome. Yep, this is just Tor browser stuff. It's not useful to us. Okay, so it is a carved file, but we can't carve. Um, let's go back and check and see. Um, Let's see what we've got here. Car files, even if defined footers. Okay, well, let's get rid of the dash B. Uh, generate header footer database. Print this out. Read names. Out. Okay. Let's get rid of the files here. Let's go back here. Go back up here. Oh, I forgot. Hold on a moment. I have to build my command outside of the tool. Because otherwise. Uh, uh, here and there and now go. Uh, all right. That doesn't seem to have helped us. Because we have the same problem. Okay. What other settings can we play with here? Up. Oh. Out of time. <clears throat> Why would there be a timer on a forensic challenge like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, can I restart it? Not that I, well, I don't have time to restart it anyway. 
Um, but what did that say? Somebody said something before. The second goal is missing the answer format. Other than that, it was straightforward. Okay, so it is solvable, it seems. You seem to be aware of the missing format. All right, I think I might come back and try a couple of ranges again. But this is my, my current impression, is that Haiku Pro is terrifically overpriced for what they're offering here. They don't seem to be offering anything any different from what other services are offering essentially for free. Um, I mean, and 10 to $20 a month is just an insane price to pay for what is otherwise essentially just another service that offers virtual machines to practice skills. Um, as I mentioned, forensics is my specialty. Okay. Uh, and I, I know the tools, I know the techniques, uh, and I could not complete this challenge right now because it's, <laughs> you're using tools uh, that you wouldn't normally use. Okay. Uh, forensics, it, you can't just set up a forensic challenge and treat it like it's an offensive security challenge. It's a different process. You shouldn't be asking people to do things quickly and you shouldn't be asking them to do things with tools that are substandard. Okay. Kali Linux is not a forensic OS. Doing so would require a significant configuration to make it one, not that it can't be. Of course, Kali is amazing. Uh, but out of the box, it doesn't do everything in the world of cybersecurity just like that. Um, and if we're going to use Linux, then we should have better tools. We should be prepared for a forensic examination beforehand is what I'm getting at. But I am going to come back and I'm going to try this again. Um, and part of this is admittedly user error. I'm a little bit rusty with using forensic tools in Linux because it's not my preferred platform for forensic analysis. Um, so things like scalpel and the the web deployment of autopsy great tools not the way i use them um not at all um what else um but from what i saw i mean everything else seemed pretty bog standard there's nothing wrong with using cali the web interface of course is a little sluggish but it, you know obviously we we suspect that um so my problem with haiku pro so far if i were to say that i have one is not necessarily with the product that they're offering it's not at all it, it, sub, substantively different from other services that are out there, but they're charging for it, one. And uh, for two, this whole, I mean, this is a lot of smoke and mirrors. There's a whole lot of sizzle here, and there's a little bit of steak. Right? You're, you're getting something, uh, but you're not getting very much, especially for what you're paying, and not even, not even close. So um, I guess I'm going to come back. I'm going to try a couple more ranges. Uh, since I'm a free version person, it might take me a couple of days. I might have to record them in separate sessions. Uh, but I'm going to finish the Forensic Challenge one, and I'm going to do the Silk Road one. And that's the one that I really took exception to in my first look, because they're teaching offensive security skills in a scenario that asks you to break the law. Like, they're asking you to deface a site. What they're asking you to do is vigilante justice, and it's illegal. And I want to know how far they take that in the scenario itself. My guess is that it's just window dressing, terribly, terribly irresponsible window dressing, but window dressing nonetheless. So hang tight, and I'll be back tomorrow at some point and give Haiku Pro another chance with a third look. My first look wasn't great. Uh, I'm not too impressed with my second look. Um, but we will press on and at least complete a couple of the ranges so that we can get a really good idea if there's really something special being offered here. Okay. So come back and we'll see you then.